Hello students, I hope you are doing well. My name is Dr. B. Chandrasekhar. I am working as postgraduate teacher chemistry at Mirdodi Model School. Here, in this video, we are going to discuss about valence bond theory. It is an important theory in chemical bonding unit of class 10. And let us observe what is this valence bond theory. This valence bond theory that explains about the formation of covalent bond. Many other theories also explained about the formation of covalent bond, but this theory it explains about the formation of covalent bond by considering the concept of overlapping of the atomic orbitals present in valence shells. Okay, let us come. We'll see what are the important things that are mentioned in this. To describe the formation of covalent bond, the quantum mechanical model called valence bond theory is proposed. It is proposed by Linus Pauling. Valence orbitals, usually the valence orbitals, they participate in the formation of bonds. Valence orbitals which are having unpaired electrons in them participate in the formation of bonds and those valence orbitals should contain unpaired electrons with opposite spins which means valence orbital of one atom containing unpaired electron overlaps with valence orbital of another atom which is having opposite spin to form a covalent bond between them. For example, the formation of hydrogen molecule, 1s atomic orbital of 1s, 1 hydrogen atom containing unpaired electron in it, overlaps with the 1s atomic orbital of another hydrogen atom. And in another hydrogen atom, that electron contains opposite spin. This can be represented as shown in the pictures yeah here you can see that 1s atomic orbital of one hydrogen atom which is having a positive spin of electron and 1s atomic orbital of another hydrogen atom which is having the negative spin so as both the electrons are having opposite spins these two atomic orbitals they participate in overlapping the overlapping can be observed like this. The both 1s atomic orbitals, they participated in overlapping to form a bond between them. In the above orbital, in the above example, the orbitals are overlapped along the internuclear axis, along the internuclear axis. So this type of overlapping is called as end-to-end -end or head-on overlapping and whatever the bond that results from this end-to-end -end or head-on overlapping, the resulting bond is called as sigma bond. Now we will see another example. In chlorine molecule, between two chlorine atoms, sigma bond is formed due to end and overlapping of p atomic orbitals so here if we see the chlorine is the atom which is having the electronic configuration like this and in its electronic configuration an unpaired electron that it is present in 3pz atomic orbital this 3pz atomic orbital as it is having unpaired electron and it is the valence shell 
it is present in valence shell and this can participate in the formation of bond by end and overlapping pattern. Here we can see 3p atomic orbital of one chlorine atom that overlaps with the 3p atomic orbital of another chlorine atom and the electrons present in these atomic orbitals they should definitely contain opposite spins. So here we can observe the overlapping pattern of the atomic orbitals and which results the formation of a bond between them. This bond is also called as sigma bond why because these atomic orbitals they participated in end end overlapping pattern or head on overlapping pattern along the internuclear axis. So because of that this type of overlapping results the formation of sigma bond only. Now we'll see in some molecules between two atoms more than one bond formation can also be observed. In such case the first atom is due to end and overlapping of atomic orbitals can be observed and the other bonds are formed due to the overlapping of atomic orbitals in sidewise or laterally overlapping and the resulting bond which is formed due to the lateral overlapping or sidewise overlapping of atomic orbitals is called as pi bond. To understand the above we observe oxygen O2 molecule and its electronic configuration can be like this. In electronic configuration of oxygen you can find two py atomic orbital and 2pz atomic orbitals both are having unpaired electrons. In each oxygen atom 2p orbitals have unpaired electrons in those. So one of these two undergo sigma bond formation by end and overlapping which means 2py one of these two if 2py that undergoes end and overlapping then it can form a sigma bond between them and after that 2pz atomic orbital that participates in sidewise or lateral overlapping. If this can be observed here see these are the 2py atomic orbitals that are participating in end and overlapping here. They participate in end and overlapping along the internuclear axis and after that the remaining atomic orbitals they participate in lateral overlapping to form a weak pi bond. Yeah, similarly, like in the above example, nitrogen molecule in nitrogen molecule between nitrogen atoms, three bonds are formed. Out of the three bonds, one is the sigma bond, and the remaining two are pi bond. Let us see nitrogen in nitrogen in its electronic configuration, we can find three unpaired electrons in 2p atomic orbitals and 2px is having one unpaired electron, 2py is having one unpaired electron and 2pz is also having an unpaired electron. Out of these three, the first atomic orbital that is 2px atomic orbital of one nitrogen atom, one nitrogen atom that overlaps or participates in end and overlapping with the 2px atomic orbital of another nitrogen atom and then the lateral overlapping that can be observed between 2py 2py and 2pz 2pz atomic orbitals. Now here we can see the 2px atomic orbitals are participating in end end overlapping here along the internuclear axis. So the resulting bond is known as sigma bond and the remaining 2py and 2pz atomic orbitals are participating in lateral overlapping or sideways overlapping to result two pi bonds between them. The strength of a bond that depends on the extent of overlapping. In end and overlapping, orbitals overlap in great extent than in lateral overlapping, which means the bond which is formed in end and overlapping that is 
sigma bond is stronger than the pi bond which is formed in lateral overlapping valence bond theory that explains about the formation of covalent bonds in diatomic molecules like hydrogen we observe chlorine we observe nitrogen we observe oxygen we observe but it failed in explaining the characteristic properties of bonds in polyatomic molecules especially.